This is a big day for developers. We released a lot of news. We announced the brand new product SKUs for Visual Studio 2010, including a new ultimate offer available for a limited time. We also released Beta 2 for Visual Studio 2010 and the .NET Framework 4. In addition, the launch of the new MSDN website and MSDN subscriber benefits. And we are thrilled to let developers know the launch date of Visual Studio 2010 will be March 22nd, 2010. It all comes down to one thing, simplification. We wanted to provide organizations with simplified ways to buy and license core development technologies. And this new approach to branding and packaging more closely lines up with other Microsoft products that developers use every day, like Windows and Office. This makes the purchase process across the board a lot easier. We did this by simplifying purchase decisions to really three main Visual Studio products. Each level has benefits depending on the specific developer need. Going forward, customers will be able to choose from three main versions of Visual Studio 2010. First, Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 Ultimate. That's the comprehensive suite of application lifecycle management tools for teams to ensure quality results from design to deployment. Two, Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 Premium, that's a complete tool set for developers to deliver scalable, high-quality applications. Three, Visual Studio 2010 Professional, the essential tool for basic development tasks to allow developers to implement their ideas easily. These are the three main product SKUs I quickly touched on, but I encourage customers to go check out Microsoft.com, WAC Visual Studio. There's going to be more information and purchase details there. It's a promotion we're launching for customers to upgrade to Visual Studio 2010. All active MSDN Premium subscribers at launch will receive a product upgrade. The ultimate offer ends on March 22nd, the launch. So I really encourage customers to take us up on it right now. Go to Microsoft.com, WAC Visual Studio, buy today. It's a great opportunity. Yeah, the key thing to take away is that we're making huge investments in developers, especially for MSDN subscribers. So they can build their skills, increase their development speed, and they can stay as close to the cutting edge of technology as they want to be. We have two elements to the MSDN updates. First, the MSDN website. Changes such as the enhancements to the developer centers, a simplified version of the MSDN library that's faster with new community features. This is just the, the start of a wave of great new features we're planning on MSDN. The second is new MSDN subscriber benefits. Those will include unlimited access to Team Foundation Server 2010, development and testing on the Windows Azure platform, e-learning benefits, and priority support in MSDN forums, and a whole bunch more. To boil it all down, the Visual Studio 2010 and .NET Framework 4 Beta 2 is available now for download by MSDN subscribers, and will be available for the general public on October 21st. Download it, evaluate the beta, prepare for the final shipping product on March 22nd, 2010. And of course, take advantage of the ultimate offer to get the most bang for your buck with Microsoft's Visual Studio 2010. Don't forget to take advantage of the ultimate offer before it expires and start the countdown to March 22nd.